What's up, everybody? I am Brad. This is Mary, my beautiful wife. And we are going to the movies. Movies opened up today on this disgusting rainy day. But it's okay. We're going to go see Unhinged. See how it is. What's up, everybody? I'm Brad, and I am alone tonight in my basement with my friends and toys and my heroes and my villains um, in Nashville, Tennessee, and Sean is not here tonight because in North Carolina, their theaters aren't open yet, so I got to go to the theater last week and see a freaking crazy movie called Unhinged. So first of all, it's important that you know that tonight I'm drinking glass of water. A glass of tap water. In a Harry Potter cup. So here goes. Man, wow. Okay. Unhinged came out last week and stars Russell Crowe and is super nuts and definitely bonkers. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad thing. This is my first movie, uh, Back to the Theaters, and let's just say this was a rousing return to the theater. Um, me and my wife both were just sitting there like in shock, like wow. So I will get into that. You need to know that this review will have light spoilers. So here goes with my up thumbs. First of all, this movie definitely held my attention the entire time and there's no doubt about it that this thing was extremely entertaining if you're a little messed up in the head, which Moving on. Some of these things are, me and my wife kind of did this review together, but she's not, uh, she's not interested in being on this. This movie was surprisingly unpredictable. That My wife brought that up um, whenever we were on our way home and I was writing my notes. It's, for its genre, it does some things that you don't really see coming. This is the guy following you in a car genre. I would say this is phone booth meets breakdown meets Halloween meets Joyride, rip Paul Walker. And another thing that was a crazy up thumb on this one is that uh, it's let's just say that Russell Crowe um, most definitely prepared for the role of miserable middle-aged angry guy. I'm pretty sure he gained like 100 pounds for this role. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he did it for the role. Absolutely shockingly brutal. From the opening scene I was like Okay, this is the kind of movie I'm watching. I did not know that I was going to be watching just a rage-fueled um, bloodbath. And like I said before, this is an original, updated, modernized idea and like a fresh take on the, like I said earlier, guy following you who wants to kill you genre. It has a positive message, I think, in the end of just be nice to people which I feel like that is very applicable right now. But brutally slaughtering them and their entire family and extended family and friends, I feel like it wasn't part of the thing. Like if somebody's not nice to you, like you just gotta kind of blow it off. But we wouldn't have this movie. He goes unhinged. He is unhinged, trust me. And now on to my down thumbs. The plot of this movie is absolutely preposterous, okay? Now, Russell Crowe is basically Michael Myers. Like, he is maniacal, like, to the point of comedy in this movie. He's unkillable and completely uncatchable as well. I feel like if this was a real, if this was going on in real life, we'd just be like, let's just grab that really slow guy over there. And, but that never happens in this movie. If the, but then we wouldn't have a movie. I feel like a down thumb this for this movie was it, 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 the, the brutality was, like, so... Uh, so excessive that it kind of pushed the envelope past the necessary boundaries for this type of movie. Uh, there's a scene in particular that made me uncomfortable. Another thing that this movie did that kind of took the air out of it right from the beginning was this movie wastes a lot of time sitting in traffic in the car with the main characters. My wife felt like that was like just a way to establish that this is just a regular day, there's just regular people, and they're just ho-humming around in their life, but, man, I feel like, like, ten minutes went by, and it's just the mom and the son just, like, they're just yapping about nothing. And so, I felt like they could the movie could have been five or 
five or seven minutes shorter if they had just trimmed that out. Another thing was that the final punchline, like the final scene of this movie, had such an incredibly cringy dialogue uh, in exchange between the kind of the two characters who are in it. I'm not going to spoil the finale of the movie. So much cringe that it actually made me like actually cringe and look over at my wife like, whoa, like that was a really bad way to end this movie. And cringe to the point of near death in the closing shot, which I guess was their way of hitting home the, the movie's point of the, of which is to be nice, I guess. I feel like there's not that much here that's gonna stay with me moving on other than the brutality. Uh, it stands out way too much. I'm gonna remember that this movie was like unnecessarily brutal. Another thing that I will that will stick with me is Crow's Russell Crowe's physical condition and the moral of the story, which is to be nice. And that wraps up my down thumbs. So moving on to my final thumbs, tonight I actually have my wife's thumbs and my thumb rating. So Mary, my wife, gave this six and a half thumbs. She was glad to be back in the theaters. We were both glad to have popcorn, but I feel like this movie for her, violence-wise, pushed it pretty far. I mean, if for me, it's it's pushing it a little bit, that means that my wife is like, you know, closing her eyes and near tears. And this movie has some scenes that are like that. So if you are sensitive to violence, skip this movie. But for me, I am actually moving my thumbs slightly up from what I gave this a week ago. Just sitting here doing the review reminded me, man, I kind of did. It was nice to be back at the theaters. This one gets a little bump, I think, because it was the first one back to the theaters, which was a bizarre experience in itself. I'm going seven thumbs tonight, which gives unhinged a from a distance average thumb rating of 6.75 thumbs. And my friend Keith is just going to have to live with fractions of thumbs for the rest of his life. One of my best friends, Keith, who I hope is watching this video right now, is totally against the idea of having fraction or decimal thumbs. Because he says, oh, well, show me what a half a thumb is or show me what a quarter of a thumb is. Look, we do full thumbs and half thumbs here. I can literally make a half thumb. I can do that. You know, so sound off in the comments below what your opinion is of partial thumbs. And let's see if we can shut Keith up once and for all. In closing, if you just need to watch somebody blow off a whole lot of steam, or if you have rage that needs to be let out through a movie, Unhinged is for you, but you also probably need to exceed medical attention. Sean usually does this part, but in closing, I just want to say thank you so much for being a subscriber of this channel, for watching this video. Sean and I appreciate you guys so, so much. There's 110 of y'all, which is so cool, and we're so, so thankful. If you dug this, give us a like. If you didn't, give us a dislike. I can handle it. And remember to always watch, but only from a distance.